eyo da sani bia ni da so se obenya adwuma ye sanso na ye ntimi nya adwuma ebra ye ni anyi na maho oden eto da wo bedru adwuma mu na nka ne ani ho eba sa na atete no aye bebre enkan kan se wo bepo adwuma ba fie na nka ne ani fie wo ko so generator nso a ase famie nanso se wonim jb mobile engineer sa all the above problems will be a thing of the past JB Mobile Engineers in Kwan, you have 24 hour dedicated generator services. JB Mobile Engineers, you have generators, you have to any other day. You have maintenance, repairs, consultation. We have to say, you 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 have to say, Hospital companies and the mining companies. Obia by a soya, you bet me a buamo, a yet generator, a babo, a jumenina. Bon JB Mobile Engineers, our Tema, Michelle Camp Road, Freya, our zero two four four six two three eight nine nine, and now zero two zero seven five nine six six seven six. JB Mobile Engineers, your generator friend. Hello, hello. Welcome to SVTV Africa once again. My name is Dolores and this is the Naked Truth Show. Today I have this lofty guy with me. He's so cute and handsome. And he's coming all the way from the UK. We're about to vibe for out when he go here and all that has to do with him. So help me welcome Kwejo. I hope that's your real name. Like, your own name. Oh, Kwejo. it's my real name, but I mean, it's my name. That's the only name I have. I that's know. the only name you have. They didn't give me another name. It's Kojo on me. You know what I'm saying? On your passport? Uh, just Kojo. Kojo, yeah. Oh, not just Kojo, that's in like, just Kojo, like, that's the only <laughs> name that's there. But okay, so what's your full name? Kojo. Ah, you want a full name? The full fool. <laughs> hey, they really want the government as a. Your the government's name, the yes. The name. All right, it's Kojo Bonsu, or say, that Kwan Padoo. Okay, so but why do you guys hate it when you are called by a government's name? I mean, that's your I, name. I mean, but it's the full name. You rarely, you rarely say your full name. Only when you get to the the the, the borders, do they start looking at your name and seeing. But in Ghana, have people want to uh, call you by your full name? Hey, hey you can be a Delores uncle. That's what they do that all the ah, time. Why? Why not just call me Kojo? Make it free. Make it easy. Well, probably make it them feel like they know you, know you, that mm. sort of thing. I think they should even change it. You have to change my name to Mr. Joho Joho now. <laughs> Welcome to Ghana once again. Thank you very when much. When did you get here? I got here on 25th November, you know. It was, uh, we planned it from last year. So when I came last year, mm -hmm. um, as soon as I got back to UK, I was like, you know what? I enjoyed myself in Ghana. Let's, let's book it again early so we can save some money. You know, I like a good budget. It's important to budget in this lifetime. You know what I mean? Okay, so how long have you been that way? Uh, away as in in the UK. Yes. So UK. since uh, literally I was I was I left. What I think I left on eleventh of January last year, and then I just stayed in UK. I was out. I, I'm I'm from the UK. Okay. Um, and then obviously, um, I was in US for a short while, about two three weeks. Then I was in SA, South Africa, in April for about a week or so, um, and then. See, now we're here in Ghana again. So you tour a lot, you travel a lot? From uh, I mean, I don't like to say tour, but I would like to say, you know, I like to vibe and visit different locations when the finances are slapping correctly. You know I mean? <laughs> yeah. But from, from your name and everything, you're fully Ghanaian? Yes, yes. But both my parents are uh, from Ghana. I'm born and bred in UK. Okay. I'm but Ghanaian, both... but I'm fully bred in, I was born in UK, so, you know, born in, uh, do, do you know where London is? Yes. Yeah, I was born on the St. George's Hospital. Big boy, uh, shout out to those who were born in St. George's You know exactly what hospital that is, a very famous one. But um, yeah, so fully, fully Ghanaian. Um, I sometimes feel like maybe there's a little bit of Nigerian in my lineage. I don't know if my parents have told me the full truth. I feel a little 419 in my system sometimes. <laughs> Just a little, just a little dark hearts in there. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about. So for the 419 in your system, mm. does it apply to the ladies as well? The 419 you do, <clears throat> do you apply to the ladies? Listen, listen, let me just, just look at me correctly. Okay. I'm well behaved. I'm not about that life, guys. I, I don't I do not do bad shenanigans. Are you sure? Hmm? Are you sure? You don't have like the phone to the ladies, so you just, which, which area I'm do you I'm a very have? honest guy. Hmm. I like to tell everybody the truth. Even if that doesn't apply, you know, make it work for their situation, I want to tell you the truth. You know hmm. what I mean? Yeah. So let's talk about what you do before you dive into the January okay. fever. What do you do in the UK? So I'm actually a content creator. 
Okay. So I do YouTube, I do my own YouTube. Um, I talk about relationships, I interview people like you're doing to me. Like I'm doing it. to you. So yeah. how does it feel being at the other side right now? A bit now? awkward. I, I find it awkward because usually I'm in a position where I'm actually asking the questions. I'm not used to being in the other position. Well, we'll cover it because we're going to be there for a while. Hey, sh- <laughs> not easy you know it's not easy. <laughs> That's all. um but yeah no I, I i literally talk about relationships and mm-hmm. then i interview people like um so i normally do um some reviews around tv shows so one of them being oprah winfrey network okay. um she has a couple of shows on there ready to love uh put a ring on it um lifetime also in america they do a show called married at first sight i start interviewing there as well so i interview the people that are on the show mm-hmm. and then we just kind of like break it down help people to see more positive aspects of a relationship what's a good healthy boundary how should you behave how should you not behave that's what i kind of do on, on youtube okay. and then aside that content creation i do some relationship coaching people usually ask me how can you be a coach and you're not in a relationship and i'm like you know what it's i'm solving an issue i'm not literally you know taking over a whole relationship i'm just literally solving an issue within a relationship that's it so you give me relationship advice and all that in a relationship Absolutely. <clears throat> Did you come with that? Hmm? Did you come with that? That's <laughs> <laughs> that water. It's just... No, the no. sugar in that water yeah, sugar right water. now. No, but do you know what it is? I always tell people mm-hmm. that, you know, um, the story of Solomon in the Bible, mm-hmm. right? Two women, mm-hmm. two babies. Mm-hmm. One is dead, the other is alive, right? Mm-hmm. right? And one woman was saying that she's going to sort the Solomon says in the end, I'm going to saw the child in half, right? And the woman says, no, 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 that's, you let the other woman have it. And as, as she did that reaction, Solomon was like, you know what? It is your child, right? Mm-hmm. So what I learned from Solomon's situation is, it's not that everything I have to go through, but if, if, I, if I have wisdom enough and you can recognize that wisdom and it can be applied and it can work for you, and I need not go through every single situation to actually give you advice in this particular um, circumstance, you know? It's almost like being at work. You have a manager. Does a manager know every single thing about your job? He doesn't know every single detail. He just needs to manage. That's a key skill. Are you trying to confuse me about mm. me asking you, did you come with the girlfriend or what? Because then you went all around it and gave me the story, so the one all that. What a, in conclusion? In conclusion, the mm-hmm. reality is that if you have wisdom, you're able to help people. And if you have a gift of counseling, which I believe I do, <laughs> um, then you can really help people in their relationships, you know? So my job, that's what I do, you know? I, I literally listen, I observe, and then I give some viable solutions. Are you trying to confuse me about this? No, no. Should I let it go? No, no you, can, you can continue press on. I don't mind. Did you come with a girlfriend? Did I come with a girlfriend? Mm-hmm. I didn't come with a girlfriend. So, so I'm on four girls this Christmas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's talk about you coming last year. How was it coming to celebrate? How was everything? Because you came back again because you had yeah. so much fun. Last year was really good. Um, last year was really good. I'm not going to lie to you. I came for vibes. Because of my job, it's so intense sometimes. Mm-hmm. I'm, content cre- I'm creating content every day and everything. I just want to break. So when I came last year, I literally just, I just had fun. I was out. I was around with friends. I was chilling. I was vibing. Yes, there were women involved, you know what I mean? I just had fun. What was the highlight for you last year? Oh, that's a good question. The highlight last year? Oh. I think for me, I'm a person that um, really values experiences with people. So I think for the highlight for me was actually going out with like a big bunch of my friends, you know what I mean? Like, mm. it wasn't necessarily a crazy night or anything, but it's the fact that everybody was there and everybody was vibing, everyone was chilling, everybody was just having a good time. Um, I think it was like when we was, it was early... I got here around, it was, I think it was probably around about 15th December, 16th December, around about time. Mm-hmm. You know, it hadn't got too crazy in the crowd just yet. And I think it was in bloom and just chilling and vibes. And I had a whole bunch of us were just chilling and vibing. And we're just enjoying, you know, being in another country and just being able to have fun. So for me, that's what I valued. That, that's a highlight for me. You know what I mean? Well, the I ladies, hmm? did you get to hit a few? <clears throat> Did I have uh, uh, conversations? Absolutely. I had many conversations with many women because, you know, I'm, as, as, as a conversationalist myself, I like to talk to women as well. So you know, did you mix it up? Ghanaian, yeah. uh, British American, you, did you mix it up? You know what? I'm not, I, you know, I don't discriminate, you know, so long as they are, uh, you know. So you woke up next to like two, three women? <laughs> 
I didn't wake up to anything. How did guys. the three sums go? Huh? How did the three sums go? I feel like the prophet is speaking. I don't know. I don't know how they go. Um, uh, guys, did you, you mix me? it up two meals with the friends? Did you mix it up? Or, or was two it an guys. orgy? Hey, two guys. Was it an orgy? I don't know about two guys. The party you chew was it an orgy? <laughs> how did the orgy go? The orgy went. Uh, orgy went as the orgy goes. You know what I mean? I don't really know about orgies. I, I don't do those things. But you just said it went so well. Yeah. Would you? Would you repeat it to this year? Maybe, maybe not. We're the same people. Oh, you know, you're gonna mix it up. You know again. what? You have to. You have to be free. That's what I would say. They have to be free. That's what I'm gonna say. I'm yeah. never confirming nor denying this actually. Happened. I know we already have dances. Don't worry. You don't need to. You have dances already. Yes. Hey, do you have the the tape from last year? Yeah, I was there. Remember? Mm. You were there. I was the secretary last year. <laughs> Not the secretary. Yeah, I was sticking around. Oh, do you, so did you remember the story where obviously I, I actually was... chew this orgy part for you. So what are you talking about? Right now? Are you sure? Yes. I was just trying to remember which part that you know, as a secretary, you remember the, the situation that happened. Come on. Do you remember that situation? Yeah. No, do you remember that situation? What actually happened there? And yeah, I do. I do. I don't. I wouldn't. I would do my job better this year. Okay. I would make sure like those girls, you know, do, 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 behave. But do, do you know who they were? No, we didn't even know that. We just went to this party and you told us, to, you pointed them out and they were more willing to have fun, you know. If they believe this, it's, it's on you guys because this is not true. <laughs> I am far from this particular situation. <laughs> so I'm, coming back this year, yeah. when you came back, mm. what shocked you the most? Because last year and this year, you got to add two different mm. things. as come to the currencies and everything. Coming back this year. I think the currencies were cool. I mean, like, in terms of, I know that it's one pound, like, 17 Ghana since when we first arrived. Mm -hmm. um, so the financial situation's obviously changed. Um, I think, uh, in terms of observation-wise, I don't think much is, in terms of maybe new buildings, I've seen new buildings and stuff like that, but in terms of things actually changing, I haven't really seen much that's changed, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I think the hardship has increased. Mm -hmm. but that's increased all over the place. UK, we have the same hardships, man. We are looking at energy are prices. Are you comparing UK's hardship to Ghanaian hardship? I'll tell you now, listen, look, I know it's not the same, mm -hmm. but we are suffering there too. When you see, listen, I know people don't realise, this is people don't realise, when you see a bill go from your normal £50 and it's now become 500 mm -hmm. it doesn't make sense. Okay. If, if you have a £50 bill and it becomes 500 it doesn't make sense. Like, yo, the crisis has happened everywhere, man. It's not the same. I would say it's not the same, but it's, there's still some craziness happening. Um, let's talk, talk networking. When you mm. came last year, anyone you met last year mm. helped you in any anyway, way, like business-wise and all that? Uh, I wouldn't say anyone's helped me right now, but mm -hmm. I did make some really good contacts. Mm -hmm. um, I actually met a few actors as well. I don't even know, is it James Gardner? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I met him. And I'm forgetting the other guy's name now, uh, but he'll come back to me later. But um, I met them at their bar that they opened up um, last year. Okay. They were really, really cool. I also met uh, the guys who also run at Social Gardner. Social Gardner as mm -hmm. well. I met them last year as well. Yeah. So the fun has already begun for you, but we scheduled you show up and I saw the video. We want to talk about eh, the disappointments and all. Mm, there was a lot of disappointment. Listen, whiskey. I'm just gonna say it again. Time is of the essence, sir. Okay, look, look at me. All right. The next message we have to interact with <laughs> is you should enter my DMs and say, sir, let me bring you on the stage, okay? Because the amount of dancing that I did from nine to four, <laughs> I did a whole shift. It's a very expensive rave. It's not necessary. You know, that's what I'm trying to say. It was a very expensive dance. I could have done that dance somewhere else. Do you know what I mean? So, me, I don't mind. You understand? But mm -hmm. WizKid, I, we've been here, I've been hearing a lot of conversations about the situation as to why he didn't turn up mm -hmm. in it. My thing right now is, I mean, I'm security enough. If you needed somebody to be security, look at this. Look at this. Mm -hmm. I could have secured the situation for him. Do you understand? There's no excuses why he didn't turn up and show up on the stage. Do you know what I mean? Uh, is that how you're going to be securing people's girlfriends this Christmas? I mean, with all that? Listen, ladies, if you like a man that is, you know, wholesome like myself, not just in physique, but also in mind as well, and in, and in finances, then by all means, reach out Yes, to he's me. Re ready. He brought a lot of money. He says he's willing to spend on you girls. So. No, don't, don't do it to yourself. You'll, be, you'll have a heartache. I'm not about to spend anything on them. I'm not about to. I'm only spending on those that I truly, truly care about. Okay. Mm, yeah, I can't be doing that stuff. That's not how you. That's not how you stay rich. You know what I mean? Spending money on women and. But you did it last year. It was fun. Yeah, it was last year. This is this year. I'm better <laughs> off now. 
I'm wiser this year. Yes, I'm wiser this year. I got better. So no. I, I'm just looking forward to you treating the girls in the air once again. And hey, you, know, you have secret information that I don't know about. I was there last year. I saw it all happen. Ah, but this year is different. No, you came back with much more. Much more. Stuff. No, no, ah, so you've noticed. You came prepared. You've noticed. So you, are you going to also be one of those girls? I'm already your secretary, so what else? I'll be making it happen. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, wild whiskey. Do you hear this? This is what this is what we're dealing with now. Mm -hmm. mm, it's all because of whiskey that we're here now. He's this yes. situation, but no. Um, in, in all the honesty, like the, the whiskey situation, like I was, mm -hmm. I was sad, you know, because I wanted to see him. I wanted, to, I wanted to listen to some of his music live. I wanted to taste some of the skills and the artistry that he was going to bring. You Such know, a disappointment. I was disappointed. I'm not going to cry about it too tough though, because let me be honest with you. I didn't spend eight thousand pounds on a table. I didn't spend eight thousand pounds on a so how much how much was the ticket you got? I think it was like I'm sure it was like three hundred Ghana cities or like it wasn't crazy. How many did you get? Three. For you and my friend, um there yeah, two of my friends, they they bought the ticket. I just gave them the money, I just transferred them the money. So what what happened to the refund? Because I heard it would be a refund. Yeah, listen, they put the refund through. I don't know if they got the refund just yet. Personally, you know what me, I don't like stress. I'll be honest with you, I don't like stress. So for me, once I sunk the money, the money is sunk, it's gone. I I, I tell them, listen, if you can get it back, fantastic. But as for me, the money, if the money's gone, it's gone. Uh, when I've paid it, I've paid it. I don't want to go chasing after it because it's just long as effort uh, to be stress free. You understand? Mm. So money for me now. So take us through how booking to Ghana to spend Christmas because I'm sure a lot of people want to come mm. for Christmas and all. They don't even know how to go about it. They don't know if they have to book an Airbnb, if it's even real, if they are going to be scammed. Are you living in a hotel and all that? Tell them how. Coming to Ghana, how stressful, not stressful it is, and where you mm. live when you come to Ghana, how not to even get scammed. You know what? Um, I didn't even swap out most of the details. My friend did, but um, uh, I mean, for me, I'm living. In, I'm in an Airbnb um, apartment. Shout out to Savvy Apartments. Sanjay's a good guy, man. Um, but we had a recommendation from my friend, and she was like, "Oh, let's place." Really how nice. much was it? Mm. Like two grand or something. Like that. For the amount of stay that we're doing, well, we booked it early. Took on for how many days or weeks? Uh, from from the twenty fifth to the thirteenth. So I don't know how many days that is. That's okay. Past thirty, so at least at least I'm almost forty plus side days, right? Which I think is really really great. You know what I mean in terms of the price? Because we booked it early in January, mm -hmm. uh, February when we, when we came back. So um, for me, it was much more cheaper. So if you're if you're a person who looks to come Ghana, listen, I would say to you start booking it early. Right, because I'm I'm getting so many messages from people saying I wish I can come to Ghana, but the price ticket, the ticket, the price right now is two thousand this and that, and I'm not gonna lie to you, it's been crazy the prices. So I, I I book I book early, you know what I mean. So we booked early last year. Um, we we're looking at places to stay, and obviously if someone can recommend somewhere they've been before, that's also very helpful. Just we should have that word of mouth aspect. Um, but there's some really nice Airbnb. When I was looking for, I was looking for Airbnb and some really nice Airbnbs. We were going to choose somewhere else beforehand, but then a friend recommended and said, no, this place is really cool. And I said, all right, cool, let's go for that. Then. Uh, what about the proximity? How is your mm -hmm. movement in Accra? Like, are you using Uber? Are you driving? Are the traffic rate? Everything. Let's talk everything <laughs> concerning that. This, um, I'm an Uber and Bolt person, do you know what I mean? Even mm -hmm. I even know Yango is, is it Yango? Yeah, Yango. Yango's a new one, shout out Yango, you know what I mean? But um, yeah, Yango's a new one, so for me, it's always going to be old Uber and Bolt, you know okay. what I'm saying? I just think this is much more easier. Also, I think it's safer as well, because obviously it's electronically, you know, done, mm -hmm. um, and it's tracked as well, you know? Yeah. Um, especially if, especially for if you're a lady as well, you know, mm -hmm. in the country that you don't know, it would be safe for you to travel with Uber and Bolt. Mm -hmm. um, not to be bougie or anything, but just for safety-wise, because it's, it's tracked, do you know what yeah. I mean? Um, but for me, yeah, that's the easiest one I would say to me. Is just, Have you tried Trotro? I haven't tried it, you know. Why? You don't want to experience? I just, I just haven't, um, I mean... I mean, you're open for it. I'm open towards it. Do you know what I mean? I could, I could help you right now, Pip Chocho. I mean, I, I don't know if that's necessary right now. <laughs> I don't, think, I don't know if that's really necessary right now. I don't think we need that experience just yet. Okay. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I'm definitely open to that experience. Mm -hmm. It doesn't happen that right now. But, you know what I mean? So where have you been to since you came back on 23? So I went to Lake Volta. Okay. Went to Lake Volta. It was on a boat. Um, which was really nice, really mm -hmm. cool. Um, saw the bridge between Togo and Ghana, yeah. which was really, really nice. Mm -hmm. um, I ain't gonna lie to you, listen, it was an experience. Being on that boat, 
and then seeing uh, I don't know how to, what would be the correct word people that live there mm -hmm, mm -hmm. hey I saw naked people I said hey like people fishing and stuff like proper like you saw they like, all the naked and did you I mean not like that I mean you have to put it like that like, you know what but mean? they were naked so they were but it's not, I mean like in a sense of like that's their natural habitat you know what I mean okay and I was just like I was like it was uh, eye opening you know mm -hmm. to see people in that particular space and you know, doing their own thing, and I saw mm -hmm. some two guys that were fishing. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, yeah, I was like, wow, this is powerful, man, to see people like that. You know, it reminded me of Adam and Eve a little bit, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, that was really cool. Then I think we went to, is it Oku, uh, Akusumbo? Akusumbo, yeah. Akusumbo, yeah, went there. Um, went to, is it Botofo Falls? I don't know if I pronounce it correctly. What? Botofo. Boti Falls. What, what's it again? Falls. What's it? Boti. Boti. Yeah. Why is it Boti when it's B O? <laughs> <laughs> There's an F in there, like, I don't understand why it's that, why, Boti, yeah. why didn't they just put it as B-O-T-I? Why is it B-O-T-A-F-O? Okay, spell it again, is it, is that Boti Force? It's definitely Boti, I think yeah. it is Boti, I've heard someone else say it's mm -hmm. Boti, so mm -hmm. I'm, I know I'm wrong there, but I'm just saying, mm -hmm. I don't understand why they pronounce it like that. Then again, I can't really talk, English, they, they pronounce so many different words in different ways, so I'm not saying anything. Uh, has that been, you speak a bit of tree, right? Very little. Okay, so have you been in an awkward situation where you were sitting right there uh, people talking about you in Ghanaian language and happens all the you time. get happens all the time. Both in Ghana and in um UK. Okay. Yeah. So you pretend you don't hear them about you. Oh, by all means. It's beautiful and sweet when they finish and you're like oh. <laughs> So I heard everything you said about me, you know. Okay. No, I appreciate you still. Thank you for gossiping, no problem. You know, sometimes you just have to just you don't have to re return somebody what they've given you. Okay. Sometimes just let them know that you know. It's okay. okay, you know what I mean? But to be fair, most people in Ghana have been really nice. I can't complain. Do you know what I mean? I've, I've been really, really cool. I've been filming my TikToks and people have been, you know, jumping in and getting involved and asking me what I do and stuff. So for me, it's been really cool. I can't lie. Yeah, but if they talk, they, they talk the language and they talk about me, listen, they say, well, you know, all, all press is good press, even if it's bad. So mm. let them talk, you know what I mean? And then more places you want to visit before you go? I do need to visit Kumasi. I've got some family there. Okay. Did you visit them last year? No. Do you want to do it this year? I did it this year. Okay. Yeah. So I need to do that. Then what's the vibe this Christmas? I mean, it's fast approaching. You know what? I'm, I'm going to definitely attend a few more um, events. Shout out DJ Pack. He's a good friend of mine. He's out here in mm -hmm. Ghana as well. Um, yeah, listen, I'm just, I just want to have fun. You know what I mean? Because like I said, once I finish here, I go back to work and it's full, all hands on deck. So for me, I just want to enjoy myself, be free have experiences with people and just be able to experience Ghana through people as well, you know? Like I said, this is an experience and I enjoy this. I, I love this, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I just need to, to have more of those kind of experiences. These type of experiences. Mm -hmm. I know your brain is mm -hmm. going, these <laughs> type of experiences, okay? Let's talk your, about your TikTok dances and, and wrap up. Oh yes. Mm. So you can dance dance. Would I you mean, give me a freestyle? Mm, I mean, listen, you see me, if you see me on TikTok, you know what happens, it's just this, mm -hmm. it's a chess move. Are you going to give me a dance huh? freestyle before you go? Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> but what's the challenge uh, about? Uh, I mean, I, I, I call it, so obviously my, my, my TikTok is called Black Muscle, mm -hmm. night one. I've actually had this name for a very long time. Mm -hmm. So what actually happened was that I went to uh, a show, mm -hmm. um, I think it was called Got to Dance in UK. Okay. This was years ago, about like 2012 or something like that, right? And so I was like, you know what? I need a name before I enter this competition. So what name would work? And I said, well, I'm black. I have muscles. I think this could work. And that was the name. I actually went to the competition. I didn't get anywhere. Um, so I, I, I didn't get past the first round. So... Um, it just kind of stuck, and I never, I never used the name. I just kind of left it where it was. Mm -hmm. And then TikTok came last, like last year. I had a good friend of mine, um, um, a friend of mine, James. He runs uh, his uh, particular TikTok, mm -hmm. Shits and Giggles. They're like five million plus on on TikTok. They're killing the game. And um, I saw his TikTok. And I said, "Bro, oh, I need to. I think I need to tap into this." You know what I mean? And obviously, I dance everywhere, anyway. Mm -hmm. And I was like, Do "You know what? But I need to have a strategy." That's my thing in my head. It's like, if I'm gonna do this, I need to have a strategy. I need to know how I'm gonna conquer this thing and not just do something, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So when I started TikTok, I was like, okay, what do I do and what can I, what, what do I do naturally? Mm -hmm. I was like, why well, dance in the gym? 
let us dance in the gym then. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I make every video you dance in the gym. That's mm -hmm. the strategy. Mm -hmm. And eventually it will kick off. I, I said to myself, eventually it will kick off. And by grace of God, you know, honestly, when I kept on doing it, by the end of the year, I had 40,000. And then by this year, we grew to 520,000. And because it went viral a few times. It's just simply just doing what you love to do. And I always tell people, listen, if you're going to do anything, believe what you do. Because that belief is what makes me believe that you are doing what you're supposed to do. But if you don't believe it, you can't expect me to believe it. You know what I mean? So sell me what you believe. You understand? Know like mm -hmm. it sounds like look the way you're looking at me tells me that I'm, you're believing what I'm saying. <laughs> you're in deep, I can see. I'm just looking at you like take it easy on people's girlfriends this Christmas. Oh. Don't repeat what you did last Listen, year. Listen, ladies, if you have a boyfriend, I'm not involved. Okay, <laughs> if you have a boyfriend, I'm not involved. I'm a good <laughs> lad. Okay. Mm. How much have you spent since you got back? Since I've been since gone, um, probably like six. Six k. Yeah, not like pounds, six thousand Ghana cities, six seven thousand Ghana cities. Okay. Yeah, mostly on. On what? It's usually travel. I don't drink, so. Okay. It's water, or I buy drinks for people else, but I don't drink, so. Yeah, that's where most of my money. And then food, hair yeah, delivery. Shout out to Glovo because they've been, they've been, they've been, they've been delivering. I tell you what, Starbites is the apple crumble at Starbites, amazing. Okay, amazing. The motto, amazing. I've had that as well. Um, and what else have we ordered? I love Ghana pizza, you know, but I just can't eat too much because it's too fattening. But where do you order your pizza from? I think I don't know where we ordered it from. My, my friend ordered it, so it wasn't me. But um, I'm not sure. But it's a taste is slightly. If if you ever tasted UK pizza mm -hmm. and Ghana pizza, Ghana pizza tastes like the stew on the pizza. That's what's that's what. That's what adds the flavour that I know that is so real. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. for me, yeah, I spend up my money on those things. Okay, know. so you're going to be eating more and more? Okay. By all means. This I mean, but if you're eating fufu uh, and PC and all that. Do you know what? I haven't had my, I haven't had fufu this year. I didn't have fufu, did I have fufu last year? I didn't have fufu last year, yeah, but this year I'm not having fufu. What are you waiting for? I, I, listen, mm -hmm. once I've got a motor, I don't need anything else. Okay. That peanut soup, ground soup, that's all I need. Okay. Literally. Yeah. Okay. I see. It's gonna expensive as they say. Mm, I wouldn't say it's as expensive as I say, but I would say it's not cheap either. I mean you can't just you can't just spend anyhow. You I would say I, I would I would say, you know, you wanna be you wanna be comfortable. If you're gonna be here for at least a month, you mm -hmm. probably want at least one to one point five British pound K, I would say. But then again, so I'm gonna spend that much sleep. Hmm? To, to live comfortably? I think to live comfortably if you're gonna do it, do you know what I mean? Yeah, from the if you're from the UK, I think you only spend one point five. Okay. One point five K. Okay. Just make sure you invite us to the parties. Mm. And welcome to Ghana once again. Uh don't forget to subscribe, leave your comments and get back I'll get back to you on it. So that's my boss DJ Nyame and my production crew. I hope to see you guys again. Bye. Hello, official po, official fam. Merry Christmas to you all. This year, Brunya, a man the bruta. What am I talking about? This is the tap tap send Brunya Achedia from tap tap send to you. All you have to do is to send two hundred dollars or two hundred euros or two hundred pounds, and you stand an instant chance to win exciting prizes every Thursday to the end of the year. So what are you waiting for? Send the family members the money. Let them also celebrate Christmas. And by doing that, you also stand a chance of winning exciting prizes from Tap Tap Send. And oh, <laughs> the grand draw is on the 29th of December, where you stand a chance of winning air fryers, blenders, televisions, a lot of prizes, and oh, three air tickets. Five of them. Tap Tap Send. Send the people the money. It's easy, it's convenient, and it's reliable. Abam.
and living abroad? Are you having problems running errands in Ghana? Then sign up Suma for app for your assistant services, confirmation services, personal rep services, and errand services. You can also reach us on www.sumafor.com or follow our social media handles on at Suma4. You can also reach us on WhatsApp via plus 233-59-720-2402. Having a hard time increasing sales? Every business have challenges. An ineffective marketing strategy? Failing to attract new customers? We can help you. Just Google GhanaOnlineAds.com and create a smart profile page for your business. Ghana Online Ads help local businesses improve their online marketing and increase sales. It also helps local consumers to identify the best business for their project and discover upcoming local events. How does it work? Sign up at GhanaOnlineAds.com, describe your business, add photos, and then publish your listing. Our focus is the long-term success of your business. For more information, visit www.ghanaonlineads.com or email sales at ghanaonlineads.com.